the perfect filter. Hold up, just give him some time. Is that the perfect filter? <laughs> I'm done. I'm done. Oh wait. Yeah. Okay, cool. Okay, cool. It actually looks proper. What What is the name of that filter? It actually looks proper. I like the glare uh, that it's giving you. See? I was dry sleeping. You. My apologies. My apologies. But the the conversation is bullying. Um, I was yes. triggered just recently. I didn't want to be. I realized that I'm not over what what happened to me. But I didn't want to be triggered, and I saw the video, and I was like, "Shit, this reminds me of me," and and I'm like, I was like, "Shit, this 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 could be my little sister too," you know? Like she's Lufuno. As I was watching her, and she wasn't fighting back, I'm thinking, "Damn, she reminds me of my little sister," you know? And so I thought, okay, let me let me go through my day without entertaining it. Let me I I posted I posted about it. I was like, I'm not gonna entertain it. Let me deal with my life real quick, fast. And then when I got home, yeah, in the side my home, in the silence of my home. I was like, shit, wow, actually, the emotion is still there, you know? Um, let me do something with this platform that I have um, and, and, and see how many people actually feel the same way that I do. And quite a lot mm. of people feel the same way. Like, there could be some, some conversation I had, you know? Too many of us have dealt with, with, with bullying, aside from dealing with poverty, Aside from dealing with, with, with just being black, aside from dealing with the fact that there's now COVID, aside from dealing with all that bullshit, now we have to deal with the fact that we still have to deal with our childhood traumas of being bullied. The feeling of being inadequate, the feeling of being um, um, inferior, the feeling of not being strong enough, being emasculated on a daily basis, you know, that does something to a person's mentality and the psyche. It's crazy. You know, there's a lot going on in here. And... And and when I saw that you were online and people were talking about you just now in my comments and I was like, okay, if there's one person that's 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 being bullied in the past and still is continuously being bullied, it has to be you. Yeah. And 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 and, and the way you handle it, and I've said this to you, I don't lie, I'll say straight up, I say yeah, it to them, yeah. I'm saying it to you when I've said it. the way that you handle it is in a way that uh, is very interesting to me. And I'm sure a lot of people would want to know where you gather your strength to be able to handle these type of things. Because I was two weeks ago, um, I went viral for some bullshit. And a lot of people in my DMs, very, like, in a, they didn't care about what I had to say. And I tried to say what I had to say because I had to defend myself, but they didn't give a damn. <laughs> and I realized that you don't reply to those kind of things. You don't even entertain those conversations. And, and, and what is that? Yes. What is that? Where did you start learning yeah, how to? So, I mean, cool. So, so I I realized one day that if if you're going to wake up and and keep convincing people that you are not whatever they say you are, that you are not doing whatever they say you are doing, then you're really going to be wasting your time because you must remember that there's there's a lot of things that are happening in life. And you must remember that there's a lot of people that look up to you and don't understand why you are in the position that you are in. And if, if we're going to, you know, wake up and, and decide to spend the rest of our lives trying to explain ourselves to people about things that we don't even know, that we don't even understand, then it's, it's really going to delay whatever that you want to do in your life. And I think for me, the most important thing is if the people around me that care about me understand who I am, what I'm about, um, mm. if, if my family understands who I am and what I'm about, and the people who I love or the people that I work with, then I don't need to wake up every day trying to explain myself to people that I don't even know, to people who have never even met me, trying to convince them of things that are not even true. And I always say to myself that, um, th th there's a whole lot of things that are happening in the world for me to wake up in the morning and decide that I am going to be on Twitter or whatever platform and, and want to explain myself to people. It's, it's really not going to work because I always have the saying that says that if you really want to get somewhere, um, you won't get there if you stop and give attention to every dog that barks. Oh, because you must understand, you, 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 uh, you are in the public... You are in the public. You are in the public space. You are a public figure, and 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 by virtue of you being a public figure, you've already given your life to people. You mm -hmm. can't stop people from talking about you, or, or or deciding to say whatever they want to say about you. 
but you mm. can decide not to explain yourself to people. Because the, the more you want to explain yourself to people, the more questions uh, that people are going to ask you, the more they'll want to know what you are really talking about. Because yeah. I think for me, it, it came to a point where I understood that I, I am going to question decision that I take in my life. I'm going to be questioned about every job that I get in my life. I'm going to be questioned about my every move because I've already given people that interest. And I'm not going to stop people from talking or having their own opinions. But what I won't do is wake up every day and decide to convince people that I am not this person or I am not doing this. So I'm going left, I'm going right. Because that is actually wasting your time. Yeah. And you can't really want to, to convince the entire world that person or you are not that person because mm. if, if if you are absolutely about your truth and who you are then i don't think anyone else should matter mm. and even though you know they they say that you know, sometimes you need to explain to people or, or tell them who who you are or what you're about you don't really have to you don't really have to the only people that need to know who you are what you do what you're about are the people that are close to you and the people who are willing to listen because yeah. remember that the person you are talking to also on the other end and wants to have a back and forth with you because they're trying to understand who you are, what you're doing, or what you're about. And now that means that every day you're going to wake up having to explain yourself to other people in the entire world about things that you don't even know. Because they go on social media and talk about things that you didn't do or, or things that they think that you've done. And because you don't even understand them, how you how are you even going to start explaining yourself? Mm. So I think that's, that's just my thing. I, I don't yeah. want to explain myself to people who don't really deserve an explanation. And if yeah. you know your truth and the people around you know the truth, don't spend time explaining yourself to people who have committed to misunderstanding you. Especially because of the fact that next week you're going to be old news and here you are staying with the trauma of having to experience what you've experienced. No, I get you fully. I really do get you fully. Um, without going yeah. too far conversation, you know, um, I just want to say that I commend you. I commend the things that you do and I commend, you know, your reaction to society because Jesus Christ, right? Like every other Tuesday, it's Muhali this, Muhali that, Muhali that. And, and you've handled cyberbullying very well and you've managed to like not fit yeah. into it. It's, 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 it's the craziest thing for me. Um, you are very strong for being able to do that because I found myself not being able to do that. But yeah, man, yeah, man, we learn from the people who have mm. experienced this. And we, we, we only hope to grow, you know? So thank you so much, brother man, for hopping onto my live quick fast. Definitely. For blessing us. Knowledge. I hope a lot of people were experiencing cyberbullying. I hope a lot of people who are currently in the, in the live right now who are experiencing cyberbullying or experience cyberbullying know exactly where you're coming from and how to avert this, 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 this attack on your energy. Because at the end of the day, it is. It really is. Let's be honest about what cyberbullying really is. Cyberbullying is just people who are trying to dim your light yep. because yep. you're doing something that they either want to do or they just are too lazy to do it. You know what I mean? And so um, thank you for hopping onto my live, brother. Uh, much love, much respect. Thank you so much. I can't switch off yes. because my Instagram decided not to allow me to do that. Go back to sleep. <laughs> you can go back to sleep. <laughs>